What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today is going to be sort of a part two-ish. Um, so if you have taken a look, I've already filmed and uploaded a video on my top five um, fountain pens that are steel nibs um, that I like. You can hear Parker in the background because she always decides to start meowing when I hit record. Um, so <laughs> these are my top five best writers that have gold nibs. Um, the caveat to this is that it's not necessarily the best writers of all time. It's just the best writers in my personal collection. So let's jump right in. And this is actually the newest addition to my collection. And that is a Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande collaboration with Jonathan Brooks Primary Manip Manipulation 4. <laughs> This bad boy right here with the longest name in the whole world. Um, I have reviews of every single one of these pens, uh, including a couple honorable mentions that I have. Um, this is absolutely stunning. Um, I ordered it from penventure.com uh, and Emmy over there has actually tuned it to my liking um, so that it is very smooth, very wet. It is a hard writer in the sense that there's not a lot of bounce to the nib. Um, it is stiff, but it is very smooth, very wet, uh, nice, fine, crisp line, uh, and it's beautiful. Uh, and I mean, just, I mean, it, it's stunning. <laughs> What more could you want? It is stunning. Um, so that, this isn't necessarily like one, two, three, four, five. It's just five of my best writers. Uh, so that's the first one that I uh, will talk about. The next one I'm gonna talk about probably won't shock you. Uh, I talk about it a lot. Uh, it is from Pilot and it's the custom 823. Um, with a medium nib. I also have the smoke version with a fine nib and that is a beautiful writer as well, but the medium just does something special um, and I just, I, I love it. Uh, I also pretty much exclusively will have this pen inked up with uh, Mont Blanc, James Purdy and Sons Single Malt, which is my favorite ink of all time. Um, so much so that the, the feed actually kind of smells like it still. I have my window open and I'm pretty sure a bird just tried to f fly in there. Um, so I love this one very, very much. Um, it's again, very smooth, very wet, uh, a little bit softer than the um, primary manipulation, but not as soft as actually a, a one that we'll see soon. Um, fits perfectly in my hand. There's just nothing about this pen that makes me not want to use it. Um, I like it very, very, very much. Next up in the collection here, um, we'll go with this guy. <laughs> um, so this one I actually bought online uh, and I didn't love it when I first got it. It was a bit scratchy. It was a bit toothy. Um, the tines weren't perfectly aligned. Um, I've basically never purchased a pen off of somebody else um, when it's come in good writing condition. Um, and I think that's probably why people want to sell it because it doesn't write amazing. And it's probably because they messed up the tines uh, and they just didn't realize it. But that is the Sailor Pro Gear uh, I've seen so many names for this. Mocha, coffee. It's a translucent brown. Um, it was an exclusive from Wancher um, that you could only get in Japan. Um, but it's like a transparent brown color. I sent this over to my friend Solomon over at the Toronto Pen Company um, and he tuned it up very nicely for me. It is uh, a medium fine, I believe. Yes, a medium fine nib. Um, very smooth, very wet. Uh, that's pretty much across the board. Um, and he did a very fabulous job with this. I've had several inks in this. Again, James Party and Son seems to be uh, <laughs> what I keep in here most of the time. Um, but I quite like it. Um, sometimes I will post this pen, sometimes I won't. Um, but. Either way, writes phenomenally, uh, and I, I like it quite a bit. So it's the only sailor that I have in my collection. It's probably the only one I will ever have in the collection, unless 
one day I'm able to make a lot of money and buy a king of pens. Okay, so next pen is a pen I've had in my collection in a very long time. This is the Lamy 2000. This was actually the first pen that I ever spent a ton of money on uh, for what I considered a ton of money on in, back in the day. Uh, this has a medium nib, which writes a little bit on the broad side. Um, I've, like I said, I've done a full review of this. I actually, not too long ago, just posted a review of this versus the fine Lamy nib um, in the blue Bauhaus version that I also have. Um, so check that out as well if you're curious. Um, I chose the medium nib as my favorite over the fine nib because this is just smoother, it's wetter, um, it just glides like glass. There's basically no feedback, which you do get a little bit on the fine. The fine is still absolutely a stunner of a nib. Uh, I just didn't want two of the same pens in, in the top five here. Um, so everything about this I love. Um, I even love the fact that it's a hooded nib. It doesn't seem to, to bother me too much. I love that it's a piston fill, that you can clean it super easy. Um, fits great in my hand. It's never dried out, never had any issues. Um, and it's just, it's simply stunning. Um, I was a little afraid when I bought this pen because of the whole like sweet spot issues that I kept reading about everywhere. Um, so I ended up picking this one up from Wonder Pens in Toronto. Um, so that way if I didn't like it, I could return it. Um, but I loved it. I've had it in my collection ever since. And I wanna say I've had it for probably like five years now, something like that. Um, so yeah, I love it very, very much. So before I get into the honorable mentions, I have a few. Um, I will say that this last one was a hard choice. And it was a hard choice because I was considering it between all of the honorable mentions. Does it deserve the top five or does it deserve to be an honorable mention? And I decided to put it in the top five for one very specific reason. And that is because I don't have any other pens that write this way. And that is the Pilot Custom Heritage 912 with a Falcon nib or FA nib. I didn't want to have two pilots in my top five because I have a pilot in my um, honorable mentions as well. But I decided that I had to because I have pretty much always had this in my rotation um, since I got it. Currently, I have zero pens inked up right now. Can you believe it? Uh, it's because I just cleaned out everything I have. So actually two of the primary manipulation four and the, and the Lamy and this one I just cleaned out. Um, <laughs> but I pretty much have always had this since January 2021 when I received it. Um, I mean, yeah, it's still a little wet in the, the converter here. Um, and, and nothing that I have writes like this. So this is the FA nib. Again, full review already posted. Um, I, I've had wonderful experiences with this. It's it's smooth. It does have a bit of feedback because it is a finer nib, um, but it it glides like paper. I've never had a problem with like railroading or hard starts or anything that you typically get with a flex nib. I don't really use it as a flex nib. Um, if you've watched my review, I basically say like, I just love the natural variation that comes with my own hand pressure. Um, and something I, when I start using this that I didn't even really realize was that I can tell my mood, like when I go back and read my old um, journaling stuff, I can go back and, and see my old uh, entries and see like, oh man, I was mad that day or I was frustrated that day because this will naturally pick up my hand variation. And for that reason alone, I had I had to include it. It's just, it's beautiful. I had to, I absolutely had to. Um, so yeah, I love it very, very much. Okay, so we're 10 minutes in, that's my official five. So uh, Leonardo, Pilot, Sailor, Lamy, and another Pilot. This is my official five. 
uh, for my top writers. Now I'm sure that will change eventually in a few months. It seems to always do, but that is it right now. I'm gonna spend the next two minutes running through the honorable mentions uh, because it is almost 10 o'clock and uh, I have a call that I have to attend. So honorable mentions real quick um, is the Visconti Homo sapiens. This is a palladium nib, so it, it wouldn't have made it into the top five because it's not technically gold, but I love the way that this writes. Very smooth, very wet. Oh my gosh, is it very wet. Um, so I like this pen quite a bit. The uh, Aurora Optima, uh, this one particularly is a medium fine nib that was ground by Dan Smith. First ground nib I ever had. First um, tuned nib by someone I ever had. Uh, writes phenomenally. Uh, admittedly, I don't use it very often by comparison to the rest of my collection anymore, um, but this will always be in my collection and have a very special place in my heart, much like this pen here, the Platinum 3776. Again, I don't keep it in the collection very often anymore. Um, I always have it inked up with Diatomentous Cola. Again, feed still smells like it. Um, fine nib, first gold nib I ever had. It's a little, it is, it's smooth and wet, but it, it definitely has feedback. Um, but because it just has a special place in my heart, this will also always be in my collection. And then the one that I sort of battled between um, the 912 with for another pilot is the Custom 74 with a medium nib. The reason why uh, I like this very much, I had KWZ in here. <laughs> it smells like uh, the ink. Uh, is because I love the way this thing writes. It writes very wet, very smooth, but it's so like squishy. Like there, there's just so much bounce when you write with this um that i i really really enjoy it check out my full review um uh, because i i gush about it uh, but i just oh yeah it's beautiful <laughs> it is beautiful so i mean the honorable mentions here are almost another five <laughs> Um, but they're just, they're just so good that I had to quickly mention it. Um, these two, like I said, they're not my best writers, but they have a special place in the heart, um, that I just couldn't give away. This one was so, so close. The only reason why I did this is just because I love that I can go back into my old writing and see my personality. Um, and then this of course is not an actual gold nib. So, <laughs> so that's why I could not, uh, could not do that. But guys, Thank you for watching. I very much appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Hit that like button if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesday. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.